when you get an email from Quincy Jones, I mean, is there any part of you goes, there's no way this is Quincy Jones? Oh, this yeah, is yeah. spam. Yeah, there, there are a few parts of me that, that did that. So how do you how, how do you verify it's Quincy? When you get an e- you, um, you, you open the email inbox that says Quincy Jones. Yeah, well, I didn't I didn't really believe it was him until we scheduled a Skype call and then I got on Skype and there he was. And there so, he was. And I was like, I can't argue with that, you know. Um, and it was cool because the nice thing was, you know, he, he just wanted to talk, to talk about music. He was like, well, what, 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 the, what are the chords in this bit of the song? You know, can you show me the chords? I was like, yeah. And it's this, and he's like, oh yeah, there's like a minor ninth interval in there. And I was like, yeah, there is. And um, the, he's, he's, he's a remarkable human being because he's, he's never stopped learning, but he, he started as a real lover of the science of music. He was a, a, jazz, a, 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 a jazz arranger and took that knowledge into pop, you know, when he was in his 50s with Michael Jackson and even before that. He, I mean, he's done so much. And so just to become friends with him is really inspiring because there hasn't been a moment, I think, where he's thought, well, now I'm Quincy Jones so I can stop learning. It's just been like, well, if I'm Quincy Jones, that means I'm learning. And he's defined himself around that structure, that study, that kind of emotional study. And the, the, the people that have made the music and, and, and becoming friends with and connecting with those people has been really important to him as well. So we, of course, everybody, I think if you're a fan of popular music, you know Quincy Jones. You know he's regarded as one of the greats of all time. Of course, you know, did Thriller back in the 80s with Michael. You, though, with such a deep an understanding and knowledge of music, what makes him so great? In your words, we know it's it's well I, I, as he would say he wouldn't say this by himself but he would say that the best music is a balance of science and soul, and so there's 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 a certain amount of understanding the language of what it is you're putting together, and that doesn't mean going to musical theory class for twenty years and learning all of your counterpoint things and blah blah, blah. It, it can mean that but really it's just about emotionally connecting <clears throat> with the concepts you're using, and so if you have a chord for example then what notes are in the chord and what does each note do in the chord? It's, it's a lovely exercise. You know, t- like if, you, if you take out a note and sing it, instead of playing it, then what does it do? How does it feel to be the third, to be the sixth, to be the eleventh? And, and I, I personally didn't really put labels on these sounds until quite late in my teens. But that the, the process of, of studying the music by listening really, really carefully to it was, was so cool for me. And Quincy, the, the reason I think Quincy is on this pedestal for me personally is just that he... He got that stuff together so early, and he was so deep in it, and then was was not afraid to to take that understanding into spaces beyond the understanding. You know, because some people understand things for a living, and maybe become teachers or stay within their own sort of psychological wonderlands and think, oh, it's great that then I can go down and down and down into the absolute depths of the knowledge, which is a very important part of learning. But Quincy did that, and then he went out and he brought everybody in. And so he, he, he kind of universalized uh, many different parts of musical language that weren't in that style of music in the past and made them not just accessible, but hip. Yeah. And that's like superior status for a muso like me. 